Chapter 10, Wolbrigs Part 3. Clayman began to explain the purpose of the Wolbrigs, which is the total extermination of Rimuru and his monster country. He began to give reasons why Rimuru is a threat to all of them. He explained that Rimuru and Karian were planning to destroy the Demon Lords from the inside because they were standing in Rimuru's way of world domination. He also gave instances of Rimuru's latest conquest, which is the Orc Lord incident and the destruction of the Falmy forces. He even said Rimuru killed his subordinate, Myran, in cold blood after he she discovered his plans. Finally, he talked about how Rimuru claims to be a demon lord, when in reality he was simply enjoying the protection of the newly awakened Valdor provided for him. Clayman was speaking, but as Clayman was speaking, Rimuru was simply, was simply observing Clayman with an unreadable expression. On the outside, he appeared to be calm as a leaf, but on the inside, he was as angry as a raging volcano. Rima was able to control his anger with great difficulty, and the only reason he was listening to the nonsense that Clayman was saying is simply because the other demon lords were releasing as well. But that you could see, can, and with that you can see that this uns- insufferable slime is a threat to everything we demon lords stands for. I say we purge him at once, Clayman said, with everyone looking. The other demon lords nodded their head with, with some like Dino Ramses pretending to be to be following what Clayman was saying. Guy turned to Rimuru. Now would the defendant like to defend himself? All the Rim- demon lords turned their attention to Rimuru to hear what he was saying. Rimuru raised his eyes and looked at every demon lord there before his eyes then settled on Clam. Are you Clayman correct? Clayman looked with a confused question. Yes, I am. Uh, what is that to you, you slime? Well then, I will make sure that I kill you. One, that the one I kill today is not the wrong guy. You have made a grave enemy by making me. You have gained- you have made a grave mistake by making me an enemy, Rimuru said to him with a pissed expression. All the demon lords were surprised by what Rimuru said. They all looked at Rimuru like he was an idiot who declared that he will kill all the demon lords in front of so many demon lords. Who, do you de- who declares that he will de- kill a demon lord in front of so many demon lords? Malin was looking at Ramses, at Rimuru with a worried look from where she was sitting. Sitting. <sighs> Guy calmed, calmly looked at Rimuru. Does that mean you are admitting to everything Clayman said? You know, I originally came here to prove that Clayman was a liar and a deceiver, but I changed my mind, Rimuru said with anger. Why is that, I may, if I may ask? The one who asked this was Draggle. Simple. Because Clayman has committed a grave sin against me, Rimuru answered him. What sin did I commit exactly? Clayman asked with his curious look. Rimuru glared at him with anger. You had the gut to ask me that. You you manipulated the humans to attack me and my country. You killed many of my people. You made Malim wipe out your your Zanian. from the map while placing the blame on Carrion and worst of all, you hurt someone that was precious to me right before my very eyes. For daring to hurt Malim before my presence has sealed your fate. All the demon lords were surprised after hearing what Rimuru said. Malim in particular had a huge blush on her face and a smile that she was trying to desperately hide. Rimuru said as the Rimuru says the most sweetest thing sometimes. I want to hug him so bad, but I will blow my cover if I do. Wait, does this mean he feels the same way I do? I hope he does because my heart cannot handle rejection from the person I love and more than life itself. Rimuru thought to herself while secretly smiling at the possibility that Rimuru may return her feelings for her. Clayman looked shocked from what Rimuru said before he composed himself. Are you accusing me? 
Are you con accusing me, you slime? You that was plying with Kyrian to overthrow the demon lords, us demon lords, and conquer the world. Everyone had, as you can see, this slime has revealed his true colors. I say he, I say a purge is needed. Rimuru turned, stood from his chair and, from his chair and kicked it to where Clayman, where Clayman was sitting. The chair impacted to the side of Clayman's face, only barely missing him. Clayman looked sh shocked by this action and looked at Reamer with anger. I told you that. I told you, didn't I? I will kill you for what you have done. You who clearly do not know me can say e any trash things you want about me, and I don't. Care or give a crap. All I want is to build a nation where I and Malim can live in comfortably with humans and monsters coexisting and happiness. Anyone who regret gets in my way of that, be it a god, a true dragon, a demon lord, or the western holy countries, is my enemy. Just like you are, Clayman. Clayman said while walking to where Clayman is. Clayman turned to the other demon lords. Are you going to ignore what this insufferable slime is slaying, saying? Stop getting others involved, Clayman. This is between you, me, and no one else, Reamer said with an annoyed voice. Well, as Will said, Reamer, now a question. Are you truly claiming to be a demon lord? Guy asked him. Forgive my rudeness for not introducing myself earlier. Reamer spread his new dragon wings. For all to see. I am the Demon Lord Rimuru, the fifth true dragon born to be born in this world, the devourer. The mana that was the amount of mana that was pouring out of him was from another dim, was another dimension. There was no word to describe it. It then overwhelming the mana was black in cover and coating Rimuru's whole body. The demon lords were all gobsmacked. Ex all had a gobsmacked expression from seeing Raymond's transformation. Not to mention his magicals, what is insanely bigger than it, all of them, their own, except for maybe Malim. To think that he was a true dragon with the amount of mana I am feeling poor and feeling pouring out of him, I stand no chance at all against him in a fight. I must count myself lucky that I am not a target yet. Leon thought to himself with a worried expression. No way, is this real? How can a how can guy how can one guy possess all this aura? This is ten times bigger than any true dragon aura I've seen. No wonder Ramses was confident when she said he will call she will call him if I touch her. Now I that I know what he's capable of, I'm glad he didn't call she didn't call him. Dial thought in fear. His aura is indeed Bigger than that lizard. How did he become a true dragon? This is totally different from what I've been told. Luminous thought to herself. Before turn, she turned away. And saw Roy who was posing as a demon lord in her seat. Almost about to pass out. The only reason why he is still awake now. Is because of my mana. Which is. Which I am using to protect him from this hard, harsh gush of mana. I never imagined that he will be power this powerful. Clayman is done for. He is a fool for provoking this monster. I know Clayman will kill me before he dies, but I can at least have a the pleasure of seeing him suffer before I go. Fred thought to herself. Malim was looking at Rimuru and with a shocked look was filled with love. I know that I should not be thinking this, but Reamer looks so sexy right now. Surely, how did how did he become a true dragon? If we were to fight, if I were to fight him in a practice match, I wonder who would win. Ramses looked at Reamer with a shocked look. He's even stronger than Master. No wonder he was not worried when I told him that claim what was claiming planning, what claiming was playing. What if he is this powerful now? What does that... Does that mean that he is stronger than Guy? <laughs> I'm going to brag to Dinah that that my best friend is so much stronger than him. 
Valdor, Valzar, look at, looked at Reamer's aura and left. I knew that it was you. I since, I since fighting my little brother. I must ask Rumiru, how did a slime like you become a true dragon? Rumiru gave her a slight glance. That's my secret to keep very well. We all have our secret now, Guy. What will you do, Valzar asked Guy. Guy smiled to Rimuru. It seems everyone here is greatly underestimate you. Underestimated you. No worries, though. If you can beat Clement here and now, we will all witness you. We will all, with all these witnesses, all these witnesses, we will accept, accept you into our ranks. Nice and simple. I like it. Now, Clayman, are you, re do you, are you really, are you ready to fight or are you a coward? Rimuru said to him. He then placed his hand over the table and stored it in, the, in his stomach before moving to the center. Clayman looked, had a look of fear after seeing just as a glimpse of how strong Rimuru is. I never knew that he was this strong. Just how am I supposed to fight a true dragon? I know that I'm awakened, but n compared to Rimuru, I feel like that. I feel like it does not matter. I what can I do? Wait, I still have Malim on my side. So as long as I read, they won't be anything to panic. There won't be any need to panic. Rimuru, will claim and relax and turn to Malim. You are up, Malim. Destroy Rimuru for me. And after he said that, Malim immediately stood up. And made her made a pose before she rushed to Rimuru with her full speed, which was as fast as the speed of light, with her fist cocked back to punch him. Rimuru seeing this move, even with her speed, it dodged to the side. Malim seeing that she missed, was surprised, and she tried to hit Rimuru, but he simply jumped away from her. Rimuru landed at the center of the Wolfbrook's meeting room and glared at Clayman. I just can't, can't, just can't fight your bet own battles, can you, Clayman? Of course I will be joining the fight. I, along with Malim, will purge you from this world. Clayman said bef before releasing his own aura, which was bigger than me, Demon Lords, watching the fight. The Demon Lords were surprised because they never imagined that Clayman will be this strong. Though it, it was all pointless when it is compared to Amorous. Clayman's mom may be big, but it's nothing to compare to that of a true dragon. I won't be the one who fights you because it will only make me feel like a feel like I'm bullying a kid. My subordinates should pay more than enough to beat you up. Rumor said. Then he gave a nod to Shinon, who gave a silent, who gave who have been silent since they arrived before Clayman could comprehend what is. Happening, Shinon appeared in front of him and punched him hard in the face. Clayman staggered back from the force of the blow, but he could regain his senses because Shinon gave him multiple brutal punches and kicks, which sent him flying into a wall. Once Shinon was satisfied, she turned to Rimuru and smiled. Lord Rimuru, can I take him down for you? Shinon said with a smile. Rimuru had no time to pay attention to Shinon's brash actions. He simply nodded to her before turning his full attention to Malim, who was standing opposite of him. This will be dangerous if we don't do anything to protect ourselves, Dino said with a paint looked. Guy clicked his fingers and a space barrier formed to cover the mirror. Once that was done, he continued to pay attention to the fight. Now let's see just how strong you are, Rimuru Tempest. Rimuru looked around the barrier Round the barrier, separating them from the demon lords who were observing the fight on the outside of the barrier. He turned his attention to Malim and saw her smirking at him. Hey, CL, is Malim really being controlled? Rima thought. Answer after analyzing Lay Malim, it is confirmed that she's not being manipulated at all. She simply is most. She is a, She's most likely putting on an act. CL said. Rimuru was relieved to hear that Rimuru was un not under Clayman's control. He saw her in her eyes the eagerness to face him. She will probably want to test out my new powers. Well, I will not disappoint her, Rimuru said. Said that Rimuru, seeing that Rimuru has gotten serious, sm smiled. She immediately donned her world of class armor and brought out her sword to meet his challenge. She wants to know who is stronger between her and Rimuru. This was a good opportunity for her to find, 
to test it out. Both Malim and Reemer, both Reemer and Malim looked at each other and smiled. Ready to do this, Malim? When are you ready, Reemer? Whenever you are ready, Reemer, Malim was so excited she forgot she was supposed to be acting. Reemer drew out his sword and rushed to Malim with great speed before both of them clashed with each other. Well, that's all time for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe today to become one of my domestic listeners. See you next time, and peace out, everyone.